Hey guys and ghouls, welcome back to the Cozy Ghost. I'm your host, October, and welcome back to High Spot Friend Sim. I know it's been a while, um, and that's because I've recorded this episode already, and I accidentally deleted it before editing. So I'm gonna re-record it real quick for you guys so that you guys can get the content that you deserve. So let's get right back into it. Volume 5 of Affection Unwanted or Untrue. Walking, you sure are doing a lot of it recently. Back on Earth, you never got this. You'd never gotten near this amount of exercise. Okay. You are gonna be so in shape when this is all over, provided you still have all your limbs attached to you and your bones uncrushed. You could probably come up with safer ways to travel, a taxi or some sort of bus system, but you don't have any money and you can't read signs. Also, you are routinely covered in blood and bruises. So walking it is. Tired as you are, your feet still carry you toward friendship. Okay, this was a mysterious figure earlier, but now you get to see it's Polypa. Polypa? Polypa. Gozy. As usual, the streets are hopping. Just bouncing around like an overactive bunny rabbit on Easter morning. Up ahead at an intersection of streets is some kind of night market. Well, every market on Alternia is a night market. As previously stated, you are broke, but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of window shopping. Who knows what kind of awesome stuff you'll find. You can learn a lot about culture from their stores. You are so intent on thinking positive thoughts that you're nearly at the market before you realize that quite a few people are coming towards you in the opposite direction. Some of them are running, actually, and screaming. Looks like something has gone down, violence-wise. It's not a stampede. You aren't in danger of being you're you aren't in any danger of being trampled and the street is wide enough to just step aside and let the crowd pass or it would be you get a brief furtive glance glimpse of a pair of focused yellow eyes under a low pulled hood that a hand grabs yours so tightly the tips of your fingers go numb with a rough yank you are pulled into the flow of the crowd the troll girl who has a hold of you speaks quickly and quietly you have to lean your head in close to here we are on a date. You are my mate spirit or my morale or whatever you want to be. We're just a normal couple out for a night on the town. We're gonna go catch a movie and get some soft serve grub cream, you feel me? Wow, okay. So, we are going to freak out and let the purr beast out of the bag. You stop abruptly and someone smacks into you from behind. You go down hard, your hand ripped away from the girls. She gives you a fierce glower of disappointment. Fine, just more people letting me down. I'll deal with this on my own, I've done it before. She takes a running leap for the alley wall, scampering up and onto the roof like a squirrel up a tree. You're left looking down at the smudge of violet blood she left on your palm. An emptiness fills you with the thought of the friendship that could have been if only you'd kept your chill. Game over, leap of unfaith. Well, and with that short, ass episode. I'm gonna end that here. So that... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, do everything that you like to support this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!